Kosovo's ethnic Albanians were out in force again, determined to keep up the pressure. An estimated 50,000 people gathered in the capital, Pristina, to call for independence and protest recent police crackdowns. The protest began with a minute silence for the victims of Drenica, the region where 80 villagers died in a Serbian offensive. In Prekas, one of the worst hit villages, homes still lie in ruins. The only surviving member of this family house described the bloodshed. No. 16-year-old Giad said the police fired rocket launchers at the house and demanded they come out. The men were separated from the women and children and shot. More bullets were fired as the women and children fled. Giad, whose father, Adam Jashari, is reportedly a separatist leader, escaped with bullet wounds, but says 19 of his relatives died. The protesters in Pristina hope the world will acknowledge those who died in Drenica as innocent victims. But the authorities in Belgrade continue to reject international intervention, insisting that the crisis in Kosovo is an internal affair.